All right, y'all, what is up? What is going on? It's the homie Koru, what to do, back with another video. And in this video, I wanted to do a basic overview of the subconscious mind. And um, it is huge, super important in magic, metaphysics, hermetic philosophy, in, in normal everyday life, your subconscious mind is super important. And so what is a subconscious mind? Um, first of all, your subconscious mind is the part of your mind. It's like, it's like if you imagine a circle, then honestly, there'd be like, it wouldn't be in half. It'd be like super tiny slice at the very top. And that is your conscious mind is way at the tippy top and just a tiny little sliver. The rest is your subconscious mind. And a lot of people will like consider the subconscious mind to be like the other half to your mind and the other side to your mind. But in my experience and in my opinion, your subconscious mind controls like way more of you and your reality than your actual conscious mind. So what is it? Well, your subconscious mind controls all of your internal organs. Um, I dare you to try and get control of your heart um, and consciously control your heart or the digestion of your food. Like there's a part of you that does this, right? And uh, this is your subconscious mind. Um, fun fact, your breath is the only internal process you can control. You can do it right now. You're probably just started um, manually breathing. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> no, there's no other process within your body as far as internal organs are concerned that you can control. Um, those are all done by the subconscious mind. And so another huge part of your subconscious mind is when you sleep and you have dreams, you're basically entering into this state of your subconscious mind. Um, of course, in my experience and from a lot of different anecdotal personal stories I've heard from a lot of different people, there are other, there are other modalities that can happen while you're sleeping, but for the sake of this video, most of the time when you dream, your subconscious is projecting parts of yourself into the dream for you to process your day and for all these other things to happen. And the biggest and the other most important part of your subconscious mind is that your subconscious mind is manifesting your life and basically that's the only way that it can happen and so our conscious minds are basically meant to act as filters we're supposed to be acting as a filter for what can and can't go into our subconscious mind and so when you're a child, they say the first five years of your life is basically the most important for is when you're trying to program your subconscious mind because you're being com you're completely absorbing everything around you, and that is creating the foundational layer for your subconscious mind. And so this is a great example of why if you grew up rich, you're probably going to be rich as far as money is concerned. If you grew up poor, you're probably going to end up being poor and it has nothing to do with intelligence or you know capability or any of these types of things it's because your subconscious mind is tuned to be a certain way and it's basically going to keep reproducing that and manufacturing that within your life and sometimes it'll even like get scary if something happens that's like out of the way of your subconscious mind you know uh, if if someone wins the lottery, of course, a lot of times they have people who um, are, are near them who want to take their money, blah, blah, blah. Not cool. Humans are weird. But most of the time, if people get a lot of money real quick, they'll find a way to get rid of it just as quick and go back to what they were already at because their subconscious mind is basically tuned to make a certain amount of money. And so this goes with just about everything. If you're at a certain weight, you're probably going to stay at that certain weight because your subconscious got tuned to be there somehow, you know, like, and so your subconscious mind is constantly, constantly manifesting the, the world around you. And one of the, one of the um, functions of the subconscious mind is also to keep you safe. And so if you try to do something new and you try to do something different, um, it might be really, really difficult because your subconscious mind might be saying something like, well, we don't know if that's possible. We don't know what's going to happen if we do that. And in order to stay where we're at and keep surviving, we kind of need to keep it the same way we were at. 
Um, that's something that people run into with the subconscious mind as well. And basically, this goes back to the whole point of magic. The whole point of magic, as it were, and as I like to explain it, is that consciously in life, when we start realizing these things about our lives and we start wanting to create a change, magic is basically the process by which you take an intention and you seed it within the subconscious in such a way that it takes hold and it manifests. So your conscious mind is definitely just as important a part of you as your subconscious mind. But your subconscious mind is basically what does all the manifesting. And so when you take an intention, when you take a visualization, when you take something that you want manifested, what you basically have to do, the core fundamental process for all magic is taking that, seeding it to your subconscious. You are giving a directive to your subconscious so that it can be manifested. And so like I mentioned before, this is why drama is very important because the more you can dramatize with emotions and with um, you know, theatrical endeavors, when you're trying to create a visualization of what you would like to manifest, when you do this and you seed it into your subconscious, it's gonna make a bigger impact into your subconscious and it has a much higher likelihood of being more accurate being more um manifesting more quickly if you can create a dramatic vision to impress upon your subconscious now the thing to mention about the subconscious is that in our conscious mind we love language we love mathematics we love all these little intricacies we love getting very technical and the subconscious mind couldn't care less the subconscious mind works in symbols and images. And I would also say emotion. Your subconscious mind knows the feeling. It knows an image. It knows a symbol. It doesn't have a language of any type of human tongue associated with it. We all have basically the same type of subconscious mind. It's it, you know, it's like watching a movie in another language and you don't know what they're saying, but you know what's happening because you know that that emotion and that image is there they could be saying something totally different they could be re reciting meaningless verbiage from some textbook right but you wouldn't know that you wouldn't understand that you just know that based on the emotion and the symbolism that you're seeing that you can tell what's happening you don't need language to do that and that is the whole epitome of the way that the subconscious works and so when manifesting it's best to visualize an exact scenario of an end result. And basically what happens, and there's studies that actually will prove this scientifically as well that are very pretty well known is your subconscious and your body cannot tell the difference technically between you visualizing and something actually happening to you, which is a little uncanny, isn't it? <laughs> Talking about magic. Um, and that is basically one of the main goals of how magic works is that instead of being simply a recipient of everything in the world, we're actually creating a change within ourself, which creates a change into the world subsequently. And so subconscious mind is very important. Um, I could go on and on and on for quite a while about the subconscious mind. I think one of the things that I would really, really highly recommend for the subconscious mind is the subconscious mind programming and reprogramming programming and reprogramming works much 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 better through way of habit and now that you know this i would be much more inclined to be careful about the type of music you listen to the type of tv you watch the types of uh, habits and situations you put yourself in the types of anything that you allow into your mind because all of those things are constantly being seeded into your subconscious and of course, it gets very solidified early in life, but the things that you continue to put in it are going to continue to either reinforce or build upon the things that are already there. And so the types of media and the types of situations that you have control over putting yourself into are going to continue to help seeding your subconscious. And subsequently, this is how you change the subconscious is through habit, through ways of basically creating new scenarios and new things to put into your subconscious and that will tune your subconscious to this new sort of reality 
which brings me to the point of magic is not something that you do to affect the world around you. Magic is something that you do to yourself to change yourself, to purify yourself, to find a balance within yourself. And then physical reality will end up catching up. Um, and that's, that's the basics of how it all works. I would highly recommend never trying to change anyone else or, or manipulate the world around you, especially by way of magic, because that's not, that's never how it would technically work anyway. You change yourself, then the world will, will adjust. Your world will manifest around you to what you're resonating at. So that's basically the subconscious mind. It's a very, very, very important part of magic, and it's a very important part of us as human beings. And most of our day, even the stuff that you would think you're consciously thinking about, the things that you would think, oh, I chose this by myself. It's like there's actually a really good chance that your subconscious mind is directing these types of choices, is directing, you know, it's not how creative is it and original is it that you went to that same restaurant for lunch? Like, did you really pick that? Or was that a habit that a subconscious mind and a thought program brought to the surface? Like, you know, what in the what in your day to day life is actually being brought up through your subconscious processing and brought to the surface? And then you have this thought, where did that thought come from? It's like that's bubbling up from your subconscious. And so the subconscious is of absolute magnificent importance, especially within magic and especially within manifestation. So something to think about. Once again, don't believe me. Don't take my word for it. That's not what we do here. I would challenge you to challenge all of your beliefs, all of your thoughts, open your mind, choose for yourself, be a self-directed individual. Um, absolutely no sheep herding here. Uh, think about what you want. Think about the ideas I've put forth here today and see if they resonate with you. And if they do, if you like the video, go ahead and subscribe. Um, go ahead and like it feels weird saying all that like I, I always like if I like somebody I just subscribe on YouTube you know what I mean but it's it seems like everyone says it and you know it just it just helps because some people just like I don't even know do you re do I really need to tell you oh eh, whatever anyways have a great rest of your day much love peace love and light unto you thank you so much for being here if you made it this far and I will see you in the next one thanks <laughs>